how to set up a self-hosted own cloud server. Own cloud is an open source cloud-based file hosting and storage server allowing you to access your files anywhere. I'm just going to quickly show you now what features you get with a self-hosted own cloud server. So I'm just going to click pricing here on owncloud.com and then I'm just going to scroll down and show you what you get with the basic and free community plan. So as you can see, you get one user. It's self-managed on premises, which means you'll have to host it on your own server. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. You'll also be able to file sync and share. It's 100% open source, access to community apps, access to community forum, desktop and mobile applications. And then the other features are premium. All right, so let's get started setting up this server. So the first thing we're going to need is a server to install OwnCloud onto. So I'm just going to click the previous tab here to show you my server of choice, and that is Vulture. Why I choose Vulture as my server host is because for OwnCloud it has a one-click install feature, and also Vulture is very affordable in terms of its server hosting plans. If you don't have a Vulture account and would like to use it to set up your own own cloud server, then please use my referral link. This is my referral link here. I'll also put it in this video's description. You'll be able to use Vulture services for free for one month. So therefore you'll save a bit of money and I'll make a bit of money. So once you've clicked on my referral link, you'll be taken to vulture.com. Once you're here, you'll need to create an account. So put in an email address, pick a password and then click create an account. Now I already have a Vulture account and I'm already logged in so I'm just going to click on my account. Once you've signed in using my referral link and are logged in, you'll need to add your billing information where you'll receive the free promotional credits provided by my referral link. Once you've done that, you'll receive the free credits here and now you're ready to install OwnCloud onto a server. To do this, the first thing you'll need to do is click on products here. Once you're on products, navigate to the right hand side of this web page and click on the blue plus symbol. Left click on it. And now you'll be brought to the deploy a new instance section. Here you'll need to choose your server type. I'm going to go with cloud compute as that is the most affordable. Scroll down. Here you'll need to pick a server location. I'm going to go with the one that's closest to my location and that would be London, United Kingdom. You go with the one that works best for you. Scroll down. And now you'll need to select the server type or essentially the operating system or the application of choice that you're going to be installing onto your server. Now for this tutorial, we're not actually going to be installing just a raw operating system. We're actually going to be installing an operating system along with an application. So you want to navigate here to application and left click on it. Once you're here, you'll be given a list of applications you can install onto your server. Scroll down and look for own cloud. And there we go, here is OwnCloud, and it will be installed on an Ubuntu 18.04 version x64 Linux operating system. Left click on it to select OwnCloud, and then continue scrolling down. Here you'll be given the option to select your server size. Now for Cloud Compute and London UK, you're limited to two options here. However, you'll have more options depending on your server's location and the server type you select. So I'm going to go with the smallest server size for this video, which is the $5 a month plan. So I get a nice 25 gigabyte SSD, one CPU, one gigabyte of RAM, and a thousand gigabytes of bandwidth. Left click on it to select the server size and then continue scrolling down. Here you'll have some additional features to add IPv6, auto backups, DDoS protection, private networking. I'm not going to add any of these features. Continue scrolling down where you'll have the option to add a startup script and an SSH key. Again, I'm not going to use any of these services and I'm going to continue scrolling down. Here you'll be asked to provide a server hostname and label. I'm just going to include a hostname for my server and I'm going to call it OwnCloud. Server. And then all that's left to do now is to deploy your server. Left click on deploy now. Once you've done that, you'll be taken back to the products page. Scroll down and you should see that your own cloud server is being installed here. You can see that status in orange here, which says installing. Give your server a couple of minutes to install and I'll be back once our server is running. All right guys, I'm back. And as you can see, our own cloud server is currently running. Now to access our own cloud server, all you need to do is left click on the server name. 
and now you'll be taken to the overview of your server. Scroll down and then you should see the login information for your own cloud server. So let's log into our own cloud server. Left click on the server link here and a new tab will open. You'll be greeted with this message that says your connection is not private. That's fine. You know exactly what you're connecting to and that is your own cloud storage server. So click advanced here and then click proceed to your server's IP address. Left click on it and you should be taken to the login page for your own cloud server. And there we go, we're on the own cloud server login page. You need to enter your username and your password for your own cloud server. That was generated by Vulture. So go back to your Vulture tab here and then copy the own cloud server details here that's in the gray box. Don't get it confused with the information that's up here. This is the login information to SSH into your server. This is the own cloud server login details. So copy the username for your own cloud server here and then navigate back to the own cloud login page and paste that in. Now get the password, copy the password, and then go back to the login page and paste in the password. Click this gray arrow here to log in. And there we go, guys. You have just logged into the own cloud server you have just created. You'll now be able to store your files on this cloud server and access them from any location. You can also collaborate with your friends, family, and even your team at work if that is something that you're interested in. All right, guys, when you first log in, you'll be greeted with this notification that tells you that there is a desktop app, an Android app, and an App Store application that you can use to access your files with. I'm not going to be downloading any of these applications for this video. However, you can do if you want to. I'm going to be using the browser client to access my files as I'm on the PC, and that is what I'm comfortable using. So I'm just going to click the X here. And there we go, guys. You'll be greeted with the own cloud manual, a photo folder, and a documents folder to get you started. You can access these in your own time if you want. However, I'm just going to demonstrate how to use the own cloud server very quickly and briefly here. So if you want to make a new folder, just navigate to the top and left click on the plus symbol. Here you'll be able to make a new folder and also upload a file if you want to. I'm just going to click on folder here, left click on it, and then give your folder a name. So let's call it Websplaining. And then hit enter. And there we go, we've generated a new folder on our own privately hosted cloud storage. Next, let's add some documents to this folder. So I'm just going to open up the folder here, and then all I'm going to do is drag files into here to upload them onto OwnCloud. Again, you can also click this plus symbol here to upload them. However, I personally find dragging files into your server's preferred location much more simpler and convenient. So I'm just going to restore down really quickly so that I can have access to my desktop and the files that I want to upload. So as you can see I have three files here on my desktop. One is a video file, the other one is an image, and then the other one is a Word doc. Let's upload all three of these files. Select all of them, left click and hold, and then drag them into the file location that you want them to be stored in, and then let go. And as you can see it begins uploading the files that you've just dragged in. And there we go guys, we've just started our server and we have immediately started populating it with content. Now let's say I wanted to access the image without downloading the image from our cloud server, then all we need to do is left click on it and we'll get a nice preview of what our image looks like. And that can be done exactly the same with the video and the document here. Now let's say you want to share a file to collaborate with someone, so let's go with this image here. Let's say if we want to share this image, all you need to do is click on the share icon here, which is this one, left click on it, and now you'll have two options for sharing. The first option is that you can generate a public link, and with the public link that you generate, anybody that has the link can access this image on your own cloud server. My preference is not to create a public link, however some people prefer that. I prefer to use a private link, and to generate and access a private link for your file, all you need to do is navigate to the top here and hover over this link symbol. And as you can see, this little message pops up which says private link, only people who have access to the file folder can use it. So all you need to do to access this link is left click on this icon here. And then as you can see below it, you'll be able to see the private link that was generated for this image. And all you need to do is copy it and then share it with the appropriate recipient. So for example, if I was shared this image, all you need to do is paste it into your browser here. So let's just go to this tab, paste it in and then hit enter. And then the recipient should be able to see the file on own cloud once you have given them permission to access the file. Of course, I'm currently logged in as admin to this server, so therefore you won't be able to see what exactly that person would see. However, it would be restricted to the images private link that we just sent to them. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, 
be sure to give the video a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so hard to let you go?